What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to create a flat design character in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new around here and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, hit that subscribe button as 85% of you watching are not subscribed and you will get better at Illustrator, I promise. As always, I like to start my illustrations on paper, or better yet, on my Apple Procreate app. I like getting my sketch down to as close to the final product before I hop on to Illustrator. Begin by creating a 1920 by 1080 pixel file. Let's turn this reference into a template. We will then create a layer for the outline and another layer for the color. For the stroke, we will use a black outline with rounded caps and corners. To create the outline of the character, we will be using the pen tool and some simple shapes. As you can see, we have some overlapping lines. We will want to clean these up. So let's select all and activate the trusty shape builder tool. While holding option key on your keyboard, carefully click on the lines you wish to delete. For some lines, I like to get a perfect curve, and sometimes I can't achieve that with the pen tool. So I'll just create a straight line and activate my curvature tool. Just click around the center of the line and drag it to curve it.
To finalize the outline of the character, we will want to vary the thickness of the strokes. This will make the illustration seem more interesting to look at. For me, it's just a personal preference. Select the stroke and then activate the width tool. Click and drag on the line to vary the thickness. Alright, so let's now move on to adding the base colors to the illustration. What we will do is select everything on the outline layer and copy it down to the color layer. Simply head to the layers panel while holding option on your keyboard, drag this little square down. We can then lock and hide the outline layer. Next, we will delete all the little details from the color layer. We will then select all and outline the strokes. Follow that up by heading to the Pathfinder panel and unite everything into one shape. Next up, we will right click and release the compound path and make sure to delete the outermost shapes. Give everything a neutral color and unhide the outline layer. We can then simply click on each individual shape and assign a base color. Awesome, so to finalize the illustration, we will add some shadows and highlights. Let's begin by adding some highlights to the mask. Firstly, we are going to copy over the eyes from the outline layer down to the color layer. We will then select those eyes and do an offset path and then turn that shape white. Next up, I will use the pen tool to create a shape going around the eyes and then unite everything with the pathfinder. Another way to add highlights and shadows is by using the shapes we already have created. For example, I will select the top of the hoodie and copy and paste it to front twice. I will then move down the top shape, creating a gap. And then with the shape builder, I will remove the unwanted shapes, leaving behind the shape at the very top. Change the color of that shape to a light tone for the highlight. Following the same steps and using the pen tool, we will create the remaining shadows and highlights. And we're finally done our Halloween character illustration in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please drop a like and let me know which is your favorite Halloween character. For me, it's a Scream Ghost Face. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers everyone!